In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete an unpublished website on GoDaddy. Whether you've started a new project that's no longer needed or are just looking to tidy up your digital workspace, deleting an unpublished site is a simple process that can help maintain order and potentially save on costs. Let's walk you through each step to make sure you can do this quickly and safely. First off, to access any feature on GoDaddy, including managing your websites, you need to be logged into your account. So how do you do this? It's quite straightforward. At the top right corner of the GoDaddy homepage, you'll find the sign in uh, button. Clicking on this will lead you to the login page. Here you will enter your username and password. These credentials were chosen by you when you created your GoDaddy account. If at any point you can't remember your password, don't worry. There's a helpful forgot password link right there to assist you in resetting it. Once your credentials are correctly entered, click on the sign in button again to access your account dashboard. This is where all the magic happens, where you can manage all your domain names, hosting plans, and of course, websites. To navigate to your profile, look for your profile photo, which is located at the top right corner of your dashboard. It's usually a small circular image or icon that, when clicked, reveals a drop down menu with various options. From this menu, you need to select Renewals and Billing. This might seem like an odd choice, but it's actually where you can manage all items related to your purchases, including websites. Within the Renewals and Billing section, you'll find a list of all your products and services with GoDaddy, including your unpublished site or sites. Each item in this list will have three dots or an Options menu to the side. Click on these three dots next to the unpublished site you wish to delete. This will open up a small menu with several options, including Turn Off Auto Renew. Selecting this option is crucial because it prevents the automatic renewal of your site, indicating that you wish to discontinue it. Once Auto Renewal is turned off, um, you'll be given the option to um, delete my product. This option might require you to scroll a bit or look closely as it's an action GoDaddy wants to make sure you're certain about before proceeding. After you select this, it's important to understand that GoDaddy, like many other providers, includes a confirmation step to ensure that the deletion of your site is indeed what you want to do. This is both a safeguard for you and a chance to pause and make sure you're ready to let go. This next step involves checking a box that usually outlines the to her terms of deletion, acknowledging that you understand the permanence of your action, after ticking this box, you'll move to the final step in the process, which is sending a confirmation email. This email will be sent to the address associated with your GoDaddy account. It includes a final link or button for you to confirm the deletion of your unpublished site. Clicking on send email will complete your request. Once you receive the email, it should arrive within a few minutes. Following the final confirmation step will finalize the deletion of your site. Keep in mind, however, that once this step is completed, any content, customizations, or data associated with your unpublished site will be irretrievable. Here are a few additional tips to consider during this process. Make sure to back up any content or data from your site that you wish to keep. Review the site's current status and any associated products, as deleting the site might affect them. If you encounter any difficulties or have second thoughts, GoDaddy's customer service is available to help guide you through the process or explore alternatives. I hope this guide has been helpful in walking you through how to delete an unpublished website on GoDaddy. It's always good practice to keep your digital space clear and organized, and sometimes that means letting go of projects that are no longer needed. Thank you for following along and be sure to reach out with any questions or for more tips on managing your online presence effectively.